understand what this belief system is about and to see how it is practiced. A warning that our report this evening does contain images of children being exercised in churches. This ramshackle church in the Congo is run by Mama Lucy. Her people come to worship, but they also come to be healed. For the right price, they'll treat all sorts of common complaints. But in the corner, curtained off from view, there is a witch doctor's surgery. This woman has headaches. Her treatment is designed to suck out the evil spirits. The objects that are removed apparently were placed in her body by witches. The next item is a bullet. It is a conjuring trick. The witch doctor had it in his mouth. But the woman is told that it came out of her head. Belief in witchcraft, or kindoki as it's called here, supports a profitable industry, fueled by the fear of the unknown. I asked Mama Lucy to show us how many of the children here have been diagnosed as witches, accused of kindoki. Oh, what's kindoki? Oh, kindoki? Oh, kindoki? Oh, kindoki? Yes. The three formulations. Munanzana, you see, Nazana kindoki. Moko pe a toy bag, Nazana kindoki. Mission ba wechanza. Oko mana mission mimi. To mission oko mana kwa niyao. Mama Lucy has seen it in ten-year-old Chanda. She has asthma, and her deliverance is about to begin. The violent massage is followed by a series of blows. The strings, we're told, were the work of the witches who had wrapped them around Chanda's lungs. Again, it's an illusion, but Chanda is told this was the cause of her asthma. Exercising children here is now illegal. We filmed quite openly. In private, though, deliverance can be far more sinister. At this centre for abandoned boys outside Kinshasa, we found tea day. His family accused him of being a witch and tortured him with boiling water. He ran away from home, fearing for his life. Amongst the street children in the Congo, it is a depressingly familiar story. They are victims of poverty but also the idea that evil spirits must be banished, whatever the cost. It's exactly what happened to this boy, Lionel McCola. His only crime was to take his father's pen. It coincided with his dad being rejected for a job. A pastor in this community then told his father that this polite, intelligent young boy was a witch. The McCola family do live a simple existence, but the father Thomas is an educated man, a qualified lawyer who now realizes he was caught. It's not good to beat the uh, son. It's not good to, to me to see my son uh, weeping. But uh, in that moment, my heart forced me to, to commit that act. But do you think the pastor was right in what he said to you, that your son was a witch? In that moment, I believe it, but not now. That pastor works, works for money because our economy 
is not uh, wounded. And that is at the heart of Kindoki. The poverty and social problems here have created a fertile ground for pastors to make money out of people. It's child exploitation on an epic scale. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Kinshasa.